Now listen, friends. Sometimes you just yearn for a time and a place when it isn't winter. Let's take a trip down memory lane together. Thanks to the channel, Old Canada series, we have this archival footage of Vancouver in the year 1950. One of the first things I notice is there aren't people flailing out in the street. And this guy driving in the truck on the right, he doesn't care if things fall out the back or if people just come on along and steal it. Well, here's some humans standing in the street. There's some kind of a wire truck there and uh, well, that would be pilfered immediately if it was now. There's the uh, Empire State Building there. Dick's Clothes. I saw that sign. You'll notice there's no Canadian flags, because back then there was no identity. We just said, uh, sure, Britain's good enough. Another thing you might notice is there's no rain. This is before the government was making it rain, I suppose. Also notice there's not a lot of police cars and ambulances and fire trucks and the 21st century. You can tell it's 1950 because you can drive on the bridge without it taking six hours. Lots of space, people just taking their time. Okay, that's getting fucking boring. Well, let's go back to an even nicer time. 1928. Just look at the nostalgia. Nostalgia as far as I can see. Back in those days, kids used to run around because they didn't have video games and stuff, you see. Here's some kids running. Real fast. Look at them go, them. British Columbian kids, your great grandparents, and they're off. People were petty in those days. They would fight over things like this rope. It's mine, it's mine, no, oh, it's mine. Ropes were pretty valuable back then. They weren't just ropes everywhere, you know. To manufacture rope took quite a bit of effort. During the Great Depression, everyone ate all the horses, so people were forced to race each other. For entertainment, you see. Here they are down at the uh, exhibition PNE grounds there in Vancouver. They're, uh, this is a mating ritual back then. People weren't allowed to dance, so they had to have a hundred chaperones. And I tell you, people did really weird things back then. But they liked it. They, were, they thought it was pretty good. Here's two gangs. And back then, this is how gangs fought. A little bit more polite. Two rival gangs. Take that. Here they're fighting over a stick. These guys got the stick. Oh. And crawling around on all fours. That was that was normal. Think people did that all the time. That was a sport. In the Olympics back then. And the Royal Mounted Police Convention in 1928. All the Mounties came and uh, talked about the most pressing crime issues of the day. Such as people wearing shorts that were too short. Here come some old turds to tell these kids to buy war bonds. You win first prize. What? Speaking of my good ear. Here's the running of the girls. What is this? It looks like some kind of a Nazi rally. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, very nice to see you. How do you do? How do you, how do you do? How do you do? How, how do you do? Nice. Oh, very nice to meet you. How do you do? Oh, good sir. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How, how, how do you do? And, and how do you do? Ha ha ha. You Speaking of my good ear. And here's the Titanic leaving the harbor of Vancouver to sail to New York. My God, look at that place. Gee, that all seemed like a very complicated time. So let's go even further back to 1907. For all the horses, I'm amazed at how little poo there is. There must have been quite a system of poo collection. Maybe that's one of the poo carts on the left there. There we go, turn in the corner, and uh, don't see any poo, no. Lots of horses, who's picking, and you would think the trolleys would, maybe that's some poo there. And then, you know, the trolleys would drive through, oh wow, look at it. they don't care where they're going, it's like Montreal today. They just go this way and that, swerve all over the street. Horses do whatever they want. What's that on the... That's a big pile of poo on the right. Oh, now we know where it all goes. Somehow they make the horses stop and poo there. Uh, people had to live with horses so much more back then. I guess they were just better at horsing. There's a sign that says music. Oh my, horses and cars. They never even tried this before. It's total chaos. 
And this guy on the bike, he, this guy's driving his car on the wrong side of the road, right at the guy at the bike. British Columbia, 1907.